Hey everybody, welcome back. Another video with Aquatic Bobs here. Uh, feeling excited. I got some news. I sent in a water sample test uh, with ATI and about a week and a half ago, it took a little while, I think it wound up having to go all the way to Germany uh, and I live in Minnesota here. But I got the results at 3.33 in the morning this morning and when I woke up I looked at it, dug into the results right away, found out my nitrates are at zero. They're undetectable actually. Um, and my phosphates were at 0 0.01 on the edge of being ultimate zero undetectable. And my iodine was a little bit low. Uh, my elk was like 7.7. .7, so that's all right. I I thought I was keeping it a little higher. I'm gonna so I made some adjustments to my dosing. Calcium was at like 520. Uh, Want to get that to about 450 and elk to preferably nine. Um, but yeah, the so this video really is going to be about nutrients, and it's kind of a before video because I just ordered from Bulk Reef Supply today some Neo Nitro and Neo Foss, and I th I think what my problem is. So let me reveal my problem here first is that guy the protein skimmer I've been skimming so heavy because I was feeding heavy and and putting a lot into the tank but I've been skimming so heavy I think it was literally just ripping everything out of the water and then doing big weekly water changes changing the filter suck two three times a week sometimes uh, running GFO and Chato algae um, it's like potato algae is a macro algae for pulling more nutrients out of the water. It's like I'm actually pulling more out than I'm even putting in and the tank's able to keep up with. So I've noticed like some of these coral look really nice, but I notice when I get a coral, I'm going to show you an example here in the back, the Fruity Pebbles Acropora. When I get a coral, it's super vibrant and colorful because I order from nice websites that Top Shelf Aquatics is where I got this guy from. They take really good care of their coral. And it's super vibrant and colorful, but a few days after getting it, it just kind of pales out. Sometimes they brown out a little bit and sometimes they just kind of almost like bleach out a little bit. And several corals in my tank so look at this one. This is the Carolina Reaper Acropora from Top Shelf Aquatics. If you look it up online, it looks way different. You wouldn't even be able to pick this out of a lineup. And I thought it was because it was growing so fast. Like I've only had this for a few months and it's quadrupled in size. So it's growing really nicely thanks to, I think, amino acids. However, it's not getting enough nutrients in food, so it's not able to keep up with the coloring, and it's paling out its branches. Uh, another one, the Midori Sunrise from Top Shelf Aquatics. It's like, it's still decent color, but it's not what it should be. This one too, it's growing so fast. It's a Dan Aykroyd from Top Shelf Aquatics. Um, the bubble yum acropora like I thought it would just take a few months for these guys to get readjusted to my tank but I've had them for four or five months some of these um, circus freak acropora these are thousand to twelve hundred dollar corals for a small frag this is the haymaker and they're not doing it they're just not coloring up and so after doing some research and getting a few pointers from some videos on lion, um, fish of hex, uh, one that's been very helpful, and a few others, but I'm like, maybe I should look into this uh, low nutrient thing. And then sure enough, my test results come back this morning and my nutrients are basically undetectable. So coral really appreciate the nitrates. I know Worldwide Corals keeps theirs between 30 and 50 parts per million. Um, and now, honestly, guys, i not knocking on Worldwide Corals, but when I look at their website and the corals on their site, they look pretty nice. But I, I don't think Worldwide Corals look quite as nice as some of the other big websites, like Top Shelf Aquatics and 
even corals.com and aqua sd uh, a couple other places i like to order from but uh and then a new one shout out to the coral dragon and they've been super helpful i got some pieces coming from them this week they'll be here wednesday so excited for them uh, they were work they worked with me gave me great deals very kind very knowledgeable um just super good experience with them you guys check them out the coral dragon.com also on ebay uh, they have a lot of sales too a lot of cool acan colonies I was looking for other Acan colonies online and on eBay, and nothing compared to the stuff that the Coral Dragon has. And like I said, they're super kind. They'll work with you. And yeah, I, I would strongly recommend for you to check them out. Um, so let's get back to the nutrient thing. Uh, my plan is um, this, this week I've got some neophos and neonitro showing up and when it shows up i'm going to start dosing right away and we're going to see you know some of these corals some of those pale acros that i was showing you and then like this a can oh, it just drives me nuts that it won't focus but this middle a can here is like an ultra master rainbow and it's not, you can tell, I, I did just feed a lot of stuff, but you can tell these acans are not puffed all the way out. And I think part of that is they're just not happy in this ultra low nutrient system. And here's some more acans here. They just, they prefer to have some food. <laughs> just like us. If we don't get to eat much, we're not very happy. So... Let's take care of our corals, let's take care of our tanks, let's continue to learn in the hobby and because these really are animals, they're, they're pets, I, I consider them pets and I'm not some weirdo who worships animals and pets but you know I've, I've taken it seriously, I want, I've invested a lot into this and I care about it and I really want to do a good job and I want to enjoy it and my goal is to be able to sell coral in the future and I really look forward to that. I'm actually talking to my dad right now and he might go in on it with me, might find some space to rent out a building, set up some big tanks, some frag tanks and go to town, start a business. So yeah, I want to be able to learn as much as possible. That's why I appreciate your feedback and your comments and uh, just looking forward to seeing some of the changes, hopefully, that come from dosing nitrates and phosphates. And that's the only change that I'm going to make over the next 30 days. And I'm going to keep you guys updated. So if you're curious to see how things are going, check back every couple days to a week. And I'm going to hopefully upload some more videos here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let my protein skimmer run while I'm at work. So about eight, nine hours a day, and then I'm going to keep it shut off the rest of the time and, and see how that goes for the first week as well. And yeah, I'll probably be doing another video when I put this new coral in my tank on Wednesday. I got some coming from Aqua SD. I got a double orange scoli on eBay that I won the bid in for 150 bucks. I think the guy was just bummed that it, I got it for so cheap, but so looking forward to getting that. And a few times on eBay, man, I've I've bought coral from several people, and when I get it, it really doesn't look like the same coral. And I want to be able to trust people, and you know, especially people in the hobby. Like we should be encouraging and working with each other, um, helping each other, building each other up shouldn't have to worry about if we're going to get the actual piece that we purchased so but yeah just want to thank you guys for watching i appreciate you guys i appreciate your support um if you're willing to subscribe and give a thumbs up also leave a comment and if if you'd like to even share the video uh let's get the word out there this is a really neat hobby we got a little slice of heaven in our living rooms right i mean you walk in the front door and boom, boom, baby. You can tell my lights are going a lot more purple and blue right now. Even as the video goes on, this is when they start to 
demo. But yeah, so look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Aquatic Bob's out. Yeah.